if we need to change dates or add new dates, we go in here, find the one where we want to make changes. I'll go to session three. And we're going to look at the dates here. So first we have to change this from where it says courses or course, change it to say simple product. And that causes custom fields to appear. That's where we keep the dates. So now I can select the dates. And I can see um, first this date is already passed, so may as well delete it. Then the next one up, March 17th, 18th, that's a valid date. 23rd, 24th, nope. Uh, we're no longer doing a June course, we're doing a July course. So it's going to change there. And then the date will be 28th and 29th. Okay, and then September 8th and 9th. Uh, no, nope, we're not doing a September one at all. So I'm going to delete that one. Then November 10th and 11th, those are valid. Then March 22 and 23, those are valid. June, we are not doing a June one. That's changed now to July. And then 26th and 27. And then next one, September, um, we don't have a September, we have a November. So I'm going to delete the September one, no longer doing that. Now we have November 15th and 16th, that's correct. So now what I have to do to save those dates is click update. Once it's finished updating, <clears throat> then I go back and I change it back to courses from simple product. From simple product back to course, if I don't change it, it's going to show a shipping charge on the course, so I've got to change it. And then click Update, and now we're done.